Welcome back. Well, an active weather day across Acadiana, but we're finishing off on a fine note with the sun coming back out and things quieting down a little bit too quiet tonight. We're going to set the stage for fog and we have a beauty on the way for tomorrow. Thursday doesn't look too bad, but Friday more storms on the way. So let's take a look at the big picture across the U.S. And uh, we have two weather systems to deal with one in the east, uh, the one that's impacting the Gulf of Mexico and our part of the world, and the next one that's going to bring rain and storms to the air again on Friday and perhaps the threat of severe storms once again and that's what we saw today and our severe storm characteristic was hail uh, we didn't have much in the way of big damaging winds there were some strong wind gusts but hail was the big story now as we take a look at the regional Doppler radars most things quieting down across Louisiana still lingering showers Mississippi and off to the east but let's back it up six hours and we'll show you those showers and storms that were rolling across Acadiana and again some colder air loft a colder air and at lower levels than usual and you catch a thunderstorm going and you get these updrafts the raindrops go to the, that colder level they freeze they fall back down so that's pea size hail but it may get a coating of water again and get caught in an updraft again and then it'll refreeze and then you're pushing uh, maybe no, we'll say marble size hail but uh, you do that three or four times you get up to quarter egg size golf ball size hail and that's what we had reported locally but fortunately things have quieted down latest power Doppler 3 indicating just a few sprinkles down toward lower St. Martin Parish. That's about it. Here are the hail reports so far. Not all of them in around uh, the Calcasieu Parish area around Lake Charles and then Acadia Parish where we had reports of uh, in Iota. Look at the size of the hail. 1.8 inches. That's golf ball size. 2 inches over by the Richard area. That's uh, about egg size and you can see uh, more damage reports as we went uh, farther to the north and east into extreme southwestern portions of St. Landry Parish. So this is what it looked like. And this is what it sounded like. This is from uh, the Iota area. This is from uh, the uh, Church Point area. And again, uh, you can see how big that hail was and it covered the ground in some spots. It was almost like our winter weather event. So a pretty interesting weather scenario uh, with that hail across the area during the course of the day today. So as we look forward to uh, the tomorrow, high pressure and charge temperatures getting into the lower 80s, not before some fog tonight. Then we get into Thursday. We're going to see clouds gradually on the increase, but overall a nice day. Upper 70s, lower 80s. It gets breezy again on Thursday. And here comes the next weather maker. We'll bring in the Euro model here to show you showers and storms building eastward. And by Friday, uh, the potential of strong, uh, potentially uh, severe storms. And that's also marked, earmarked by the Storm Prediction Center. This is a level two out of five. Uh, on our scale of severe weather. So we're hatching them for a slight risk. That slight risk may concentrate up more towards central Louisiana. We may be in a marginal risk, but remember, we were in marginal risk yesterday and today, and we did get some severe weather. So you don't need a high-end severe weather event to have severe weather. So fog could be the issue tonight, especially along and south of I-10. We don't know if we're going to see a dense fog advisory or not. We'll watch the trends. And then a pretty good signal for fog, more widespread fog going into tomorrow night. So those are the only issues during the nighttime hours, but daytime after a morning start, a little bit cooler, upper 50s, lower 60s. We'll see readings tomorrow afternoon getting into the lower 80s. So overnight tonight, fog in the forecast will go 60 for your overnight low. That's this little funky symbol right here. That's for fog. And again, fair to partly cloudy skies. And after the morning fog, some clouds tomorrow morning may be gray to start the day, but as we get into the afternoon, we'll go to mostly sunny skies and temperatures topping out in the lower 80s. Moving on, Thursday looks quiet. We'll put a weather alert day in for Friday for our next chance of severe weather. The weekend breeze and cooler with highs mostly in the 60s, lows getting down into the 40s, and then temperatures gradually rebound next week before perhaps more rain chances toward the end of next week. Bottom line, beauty tomorrow, nice and cool weekend ahead. That's it for weather for now. We'll have more coming up right after the break.